The yeah. gold trotters? I mean, come on now. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you, want, do you want your name on this thing? Yeah, it's put gonna my be name on, on the movie. It. Okay, write it on down, okay? Put it down. Don't what, forget what, me. What is okay, your name? yeah, right. Okay. Tell, tell yeah. us your name, spell it out. Kenneth. You, I mean, that's easy. Spell. Yeah, it I'm, is. I'm, 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 kinda, I'm, I'm a black American. I mean, you know. Yep. I mean, <laughs> Kenneth. We Good solid Jesus name. Friday, okay? You believe in Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, Lord, my Savior. All right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Can we say a prayer right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Lord, have mercy. Okay. Help us, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, forgive for our sins, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on our soul, Lord Jesus. And we go forward, Father. Help us, Lord Jesus. See us through all this, Lord Jesus. May, may you go. <laughs> There you go, man. Right on. Do, yeah, do, you got do, it. Do you have Thanks. Do you have a contact number we can call you at? No, I give you my number. Now. We we we. That's cool. That's cool. We, 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 the thing is, if we this. make any money, Hold we want to send you some do, money do this for this thing. movie. Do, do, give us verbal permission to put this into our movie called Running on Empty. Okay. And that you're completely aware, and that you you give us the ability to put this into the movie, and you're not going to come out and sue us, okay? <laughs> yeah, seriously, seriously. Well, you gotta give us some money. Now. Well, we will, we will. We will. We, I want some cash. No, you the can. thing well, you is, know what? We get, if we make it, we will give you some money. That's right, we, we got your name. What do you want me to say? Just say that you, you give me, you money. say I can permission to use this and running on empty for the fe feature length film. Okay, I gave you permission. Okay. okay. Run on empty. Okay. Can I permit this film? Can I? And what we'll do is you don't have to give us your phone number. If it works out, we'll contact you because I live in Berkeley. So. Yeah, and there's not too many. You, there's not too many kids. I'm sure can. they all want to. They all want to know what a black man's opinion is. Okay, <laughs> opinion. Okay. Hey, oh, hey, you know Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney, right? Right, right. Mr. Olympia. Right. Yeah, they're they're the best, man. They're, they're my they, heroes. They're number man. one. Number one. Number one. Numero uno, man. Number Eight one. time Mr. Number Olympia. One. Total of sixteen. Eight Mr. Times. Olympias. Oh yes. Between the two. Okay, so we so we will do all this, okay? Yeah, man. Yeah, brother. And I want. That's what I want to talk about. No, we gonna do this, okay? Yeah. Cool. You know, okay. So that. if anything good comes out, I'll I'll get a hold of you somehow. Are you on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so okay. We'll do this, okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but the money, the money, no. Money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not gonna cheat you. Yeah. The, the, the cash I mean, is why green. Why would we cheat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have to answer to God. Yeah. Right? We have to answer to God. The cash is green. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> take care. Get it. Hay, see you later, Ken. God bless you, man. All right. There's a lot of characters out here. Okay, so here's People what we're going to do. People man. Everyone has a little bit of good and a little bit of bad in them. Or a so, little bit of bad and a little bit of good. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go inside. All right. And we're going to, I think we're going to play four separate tickets. Okay. And we're going to play them in order. So you tell me which ones. We'll put a dollar down on each ticket. Okay. And we'll just see what happens. And if we win, great. If we don't win, no big deal. And if and afterward, we're going to film what the outcome was. Yes, that's right. Okay, so let's, so I, so let's turn the camera yeah, off okay, now. Okay, let's say a prayer, though, for, before we go we, I thought we already did. Okay, say another one. Lord, okay. please uh, let us win. Let us win some money because there's plenty of people out there that have just lost. These people have burned them down and taken their money, and they don't even care. So let us be winners tonight. Let us be. We are your servants. Let us be winners. We will donate 10% of this money to the church. We will uh, pay all the bills. We will help any homeless person or any person in need that you put in our path with this money. We will not selfishly take this money uh, in any kind of way that is bad or wrong in your eyes. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. And, and uh, I just want to say here, I'm not sure if this is really the way Jesus works in God. Yeah, but, I know. I'm not but... sure either. <laughs> I'm not sure either, but maybe maybe he'll give maybe he wants to give us a break tonight, and maybe he just wants us to not be here at all. So I don't know, man. We're gonna find out. You've got a seven spot. If you get seven out of seven on a two-dollar play, you get sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. If you get four out of the seven, you get your two dollars back. If you get six, you get eight hundred twenty dollars. So the odds are pretty bad. But if you win, you're gonna get sixteen thousand five hundred. And that, that's nearly impossible. So that's eight thousand. Uh, no, it's not impossible. It's eight thousand. Uh, if, if you if you hit it for sixteen five, you take twelve. I'll take forty five, and you pay the tax. Whatever. Okay. We'll we'll decide on it after we get it. Okay. It's kind of a long shot. God's in charge, man. It's either gonna happen or it's not. And if it doesn't, then that he said no. I mean, it's as simple as that. He said no, and that's all. But if we, maybe we can at least win enough for the personal training course, some money for you, some money for the brakes, and uh, some money for the insurance and the reg, 
and okay. some, you know, and some gas money and some food money. And if we can get that, if we can get that, then that'll be that'll be cool. Okay. French fries, potato salad, or pasta salad. Is there any way I could get a uh, just a salad? It's a dollar twenty-five more. Can I get that? Uh, yeah, I just want a salad with some uh, uh, some blue cheese on it. So here we are with the first game. So we'll see if this works here. So that's the first game. The odds of winning are next to, not, it's nearly impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. Well, true, but I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that God does with not. With God, all things are possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't the think, Lord I, Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't think he does this for Kino. We're not going to turn it off. Hey, can we go this way? Is there this, we go this way. So tell me what happened just now. Well, um, uh, I, I failed actually, but uh, basically what I thought, I thought for some reason that I was going to win, but uh, I told God basically that uh, if I win, you know, it would be cool, pay for some of these bills and whatnot, and uh, then I'll gamble accordingly every whatever and if I lose I'll give up gambling forever and I'll never do it again so I guess the answer was to give up gambling and never do it again yeah and so I'm done with it and uh, I have to do that for the Lord's sake and he doesn't want me gambling yeah but what, but what was your idea were you desperate uh, I, mean, I don't know there's something about those numbers I thought maybe those numbers might mean something like they might be the winning numbers and uh, you want me to carry it oh I'm on the very top dude oh <laughs> so I thought the numbers had some relevance to what maybe the winning numbers and they might be able to give us some money that we needed for some this and for that but uh, as I learned uh, like you were right God doesn't work that way sometimes he says yes he says no he said no and uh, I lost money you lost money but uh, there was a lesson in it. <laughs> there was a lesson in it though and the lesson is don't ever gamble again and I won't yeah so um, Oh, it's a full moon tonight. I'm done gambling, but I never really was a big gambler anyway, except with my life and drugs and alcohol. But as far as gambling and casinos, that was never like, you know, that was never a big thing. Let's go this way. Uh, you know, gambling is not something God wants for his kids. Um, I don't believe, uh, in my opinion, and it's it's uh, it's not it's not an honest. Uh, it's not, I think God wants us to work for everything that we have, and if we're blessed with something, uh, he rewards us in his time and in his way, not in some kind of way that, in which I perceived. I perceived it wrong, I made a mistake. Uh, That's cool. You know, I just, I screwed up, but. It's okay. You know. It's, it's not that big a deal. Not a big loss. Well, you know what? Um, it did work out. I mean, you lent, you, you bought some food for me that I'm gonna pay you back, and Don't worry uh, about it. and also uh, you're gonna give me some gas. Yeah, let's go over there. <laughs> let's go over yeah. there. And I did some stuff to the truck today. Yeah. I did something, some stuff to the grillmanator. You see what I did? I did. I got. I put this guy on. <laughs> I put this little guy on. I'm gonna have to burn him up. And like put some flames on him and maybe some black paint and like so he was just like maybe just totally wasted and burned with some flesh hanging off the bones or Why something. Why does it have to be so gruesome? Well these, I don't know, it just kind of adds to the whole trip of good and evil. And then on this side I got the Hulk and I raised his arms. But it's got the cross, like even though Hulk's kind of a bad guy in some cases, he's a good guy fighting for good, for the, for the good people. And so I believe he has the, you know, Jesus behind him, so. That's why he's so powerful. Hey, look at his brain for crying out loud. Look how big his brain is. It's green. And then, uh, yeah, man, it's just a lot of fun decorating the Grominator. Yeah, tiger on there. And I, I put Jack Slater on here today. Jack Slater, I put him on. See, here he is. He's like, uh, I'll be waiting. Or he says, heads up, piece of cake, big mistake. He pushed the little button and Arnold's like, big heads up and he's like a uh, big mistake 
that would be a big mistake. So yeah, that's cool. And then, uh, what else? Did some stuff on the back. Oh, I put this on. Uh, it's kind of this is the fat burner I used for the show. Mm -hmm. I put it up here. So, so the truck's also gonna have some supplement stuff on there, some bodybuilding stuff, some stuff, some Schwarzenegger stuff, and then when I get the money, it's gonna be all tanked out, you know, like just all just Arnold out, like just crazy looking, and Arnold with a twist, like a Grominator twist with a Jason's crazy <laughs> twist to it. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun. I have fun doing it. It's uh, it's a great hobby. I mean, it's just fun. The colors and the paints and the toys and the... the, the it puts your mind into some sort of, like, uh, uh, fantasy world, kind of, where you're dreaming about things and, you know, like, possibilities. Wait, well, hey, tomorrow at church, I'll bring some of that paint if I don't forget. Some spray paint. Okay. Cool. Hey, we're going to go get some gas? We are. <laughs> Why don't you... Uh... Say, hey, hopefully someday I'll have money. Yeah, yeah. Didn't win. I didn't really have much confidence that he would. But, you know, there's always those long shots. And I think his desperation probably led him to this idea. But times are tough and a lot of people are having problems. And it wasn't such a big deal. I bought him dinner and he was upset about the tickets. But, you know, I told him, he doesn't get his car registered and insured he'll end up getting a ticket and that's just the reality and uh, now I'm gonna go give him ten bucks for some gas so he can get to work the next few days and... okay Jason so don't get mad at me I said I wouldn't write another letter to but I wrote a real positive letter and I want you to read it and get your opinion on it, okay I dropped this off today over at and oh, I... no. Over there. just read it here go this way and the lights better okay here, read it out loud. Read it out loud there. He did a very good job. Dude, you gotta stop writing okay. these letters, okay. man. Go ahead. Seriously, dude. Come on over in the sunlight. Oh, man. You're gonna get me in trouble with No, him, I'm dude. not. Check it out. It's a positive you letter. You did a very good job loaning Jason some money to get some certification for him. A little louder. You did a very good job loaning Jason some money to get the certification for the physical trainer job requirements. I thank you for doing that, as does Jason. Thank you for helping he is in need and you helping him and also giving him a job as a bartender is, a, is very good when Jason told me all this I thought trying and I should write him a positive letter I am an advocate for Jason I would like to present a thought to you and make you aware of a need that Jason has the winter is approaching and sleeping in a suburban without heat is not <laughs> a great for month experience. Jason is working at a sign and t-shirt shop hired by an aunt or something. I do not know the lady, but she has given Jason to have 20 hours a week cleaning silk screens. She is very helpful to Jason. <laughs> Dude, you gotta stop doing this. Okay. She has, I wish you wouldn't have done that. Okay. She has offered to sell Jason a 27 foot RV that he could sleep in safe behind a fence. <laughs> the workplace. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And it is insane. A safe place where Jason has his dogs would be safe and warm with a space heater with a power cord from the building. <laughs> it's true, right? She only wants 1000 for the RV. Jason would have a home. <laughs> I do not have enough money to buy the RV for Jason. Maybe you could do work something out to get Jason set up this winter. I myself have three daughters and understand what it's like having kids with issues and not knowing how to deal with them or what they are thinking and not happy with their choices and fuck ups. <laughs> I am well aware that Jason has made some choices and decisions that are not real well thought out. Jason is a positive person. He does not speak negative of you. He is neutral. I know in the past I've written you letters that were strong worded on one sided. I do not know you. You do not know me. Yet I do know that your children are your greatest achievements. Money and other things do not matter in the end. What matters is how you treat people and how people are. Life is short. My brother has cancer and is not doing well. Jason is alive and trying to better himself. Jason has fucked up a lot. <laughs> yet he is not a bad person. I know that you know this. He is respectful, yet he is, is in a tough situation with the economy bad and jobs scarce. He is really down and out. The economy is bad for the poor person. 
it blows my mind that he is living out of a suburban and is as poor as one can possibly get. His spirit is not one of stealing or harming others. He is just trying to make it. Sure, he ha sure his drug use and lack of motivation is odd. What? I understand and agree with you, yet he is really trying to live. I know how tough the winters are. It would really help him if he had a place to call home and be warm and safe. Please consider helping Jason to get that RV. <laughs> Dude! Man, Jason does not ask much of anyone. A few, do few of your dollars could make a huge difference in Jason's life. He really needs a place to live. Sincerely, Jonathan Armin. Huh. Man, you're 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 pretty strange, John. But you know what? How am I strange? Well, I told you not to write those letters. But hey, you know what? If that's why you feel, I didn't write it, so I'm not gonna. You know, it's cool. It was it was a positive no, letter. It's, it's positive, but I mean, as far as what my lack of motivation, that's that, that's different now. Well, I'm not saying it was. I said in the past. Oh it was yeah, past yeah, yeah, right, right, right. I mean, the drug use. Yeah, the, you're right. So I mean, the letter was positive. Yeah, but I mean, I wish you would not write these letters to him because, you know, it's just he. Uh, yeah, you know. You don't know what kind of person he is. He's he's kind of the type of person. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if he needs to hear that, I don't know. Well, I didn't write it. Yeah. So just so he knows, I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, he did help me, and which was cool. He, I mean, he's not. He's my dad, man. I mean, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I mean, well, I'm no, I don't for either. I I hope that he finds Christ and finds God and all that and and is able to transform his life from the inside out okay. and it, but if if he doesn't then you know but he, he helps me you know he definitely helps me out and he has helped me out in the past uh, quite a bit and I, I I've said negative things about him in the past however since I found Christ and I'm in God I have nothing negative to say about anyone yeah yeah because I believe that uh, uh, that we all deserve second chances and we all uh, deserve to be loved and, and we all should be uh, forgiven. And that's just the way it goes down, man. I mean, I've screwed up big time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty, yeah, I know you know. So, uh, hold on. Um, but uh, I mean, I can't, what blows my mind is that there's this lady this lady that I just love to death, 